Oftentimes, patients ask, what is it that we're looking at in the slit lamp or the microscope when we see a contact lens? So I'm going to guide you through what we're looking at, and you're going to see it here. So this is a contact lens in the eye, and you can see the contact lens. One of the things that we look at is the space between the contact lens and the eye has to be equal on both sides. So you see that in this, in this case, look at that amount of space and the amount of space on the other side, and you'll see that it's fairly equal. And that means that there's good centration. Another thing that we look at in toric lenses particularly is that the orientation mark has to be perfectly vertical or as close to vertical as possible. In this lens, there's a little bit of rotation to the right, and you can see it here. The rotation is towards the right. And the other thing that we look at is movement. So look at how the lens moves every time the patient blinks. So you can see the lens moving. So once again, we're looking for centration, which is the lens being centered in the eye. And we're looking for movement up and down. And we're also looking for the orientation. In some contact lenses, we have another marking in the eye that tells us exactly where the axis is. Sometimes this is done as a manufacturing purpose. You can see the marking right there. Sometimes it's done uh, as, a, as a way of evaluating the prescription in the contact lens. So you can see that this lens is 170 axis, and you can see that it's oriented very nicely. So that's, that's, the, that's how we evaluate the centration and fitting of contact lenses in our office. Once again, you'll see the video in a little bit faster speed. You can see that's the orientation mark, and you can see the excellent movement on that contact lens moving. So once again, centration from one side to the other, and the axis mark there at the, at the end. Thank you for listening to this video.